Hey guys, this is Chef Pepper here again. Now today we're gonna do a nice red snapper. Now this is a beautiful fish. This is so nice and fresh. And the way that you can tell if a snapper is fresh is either by looking at the eyes. When the eyes are nice and clear like this and the gills are really nice and red and they have that slime in there, it's really fresh. So this is a beautiful fish. It's about a pound and three quarters, almost two pounds. And listen, I don't want my Jamaican viewers to be upset with me because when them see a red snapper like this, I'm like, for brown suet, I'll fry it down and make a nice esca beach to go with it. But that's not how we're gonna do it today. Today, we're gonna actually fillet it and we're gonna show you how to fry it. It's delicious. It's such a flavorful fish. Um, so this is how we're gonna take care of this. We're gonna actually fillet it on both sides and we're gonna take the skin off. Now I'm gonna put it, I put it on a towel because it stops it from moving around because when it's fresh like this, it's very, very slimy, but it's a good slime. The fish still excretes slime after it, it just died and, and it continues to, to excrete this slime. It's a slime that like, can be extremely hard to keep uh, still when you're stationary when you're trying to fillet it. So uh, there's things that you have to be careful for when you're working with this fish. The dorsal fin pops up and it's very, very sharp. And when these f uh, fins stick you, they'll uh, inject a sort of a poison in you and it, it'll be sore for a day or two, depending on uh, how uh, good your resistance is. But one way, it's fine. But if you go the opposite way, you will get stuck. So be very, very careful. And also the anal fin, which is down here, it's the same way. It's a very strong fin. But if you uh, follow my guidelines on how to fillet this, you shouldn't run into any problems. And do not throw away the head and the bones because they're excellent stock makers. You can boil them down and make a fantastic stock to make any soup. So it's really nice. So what we're gonna do first is like we did, same knife. We're gonna put a nice little edge on it. And we're gonna pick up the fin, like the armpit, and we're gonna run our knife right under the fin. I'm gonna explain to you what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna just do it in a fifth, a, a, a swift foul motion, so that you can see how, how simple this is. It's not hard. I've seen a lot of people um, make it look a lot harder than it has to be. So I want you guys to pay attention. I'm gonna run my knife one way, come back up, run it down the fin, break the pin bones and then run it back down underneath and that's going to be uh, what the first side and then we're going to turn the fish over and we're going to do the same thing we're going to run it down run the knife back up the fish run it up the bone break that pin bone and run it back down and it's going to be a beautiful clean fillet and then i'll show you guys how to take the pin bones out okay so here we go run it right up run it down and then you take your knife and you angle it right down so that it runs right down that frame, that bone line. Pop the pin bones with that knife and then once you run it down, there's your fillet. Just that simple. Look how clean and beautiful that looks, guys. There's not a drop of meat left on that bone. The pin bones are still intact. You disconnect it, we're gonna lay it right on that plate right there. That is such a beautiful fillet. And now we're gonna do the same thing. We are gonna flip this fish over and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run it across, run it back along that head. And now you hold that fish with by the head and push the body down. So that when you run your knife up, you don't wanna go through the bones but you wanna get it so that it's close to the bones so that you don't leave any meat on the bones. You snap that pin bone with your knife blade, use the tip, run down, and then you run it down one more time. And there you have that second filet, and it's just that simple, guys. Now you can take that towel off because we're gonna skin it now. Look how beautiful that, that pin bone is. You can read a newspaper through that. It's so nice and thin, there's no wasted fish left on the bones. So now we're gonna put that to the side. I particularly like to eat my snapper with the skin left on. I scaled the skin, uh, the fish, before I started filleting it. But should you want to skin it to, to fry the fish so it's skinless and boneless, I'm gonna show you how you can skin it. It's just like any other fish. You 
since this is a smaller fish, you just hold that skin down with your finger and you start running the same knife at a seesaw motion at an angle and you just run it until the skin comes cleanly off. Now there's always a little pin bone right here. And what you wanna do is without taking off too much meat, you run your knife right alongside that pin bone and then run it on here like a V. And there's the pin bones. Now this fish is complete, this filet is completely boneless. And that goes right there. You take the very second one, you cut that little bit of belly off, that skin can go into that stock. And if you're going to skin it, it's a lot easier uh, when you scale it, but if you absolutely don't wanna mess up your kitchen with the scales flying everywhere, you can leave the scales on and skin it. It's a little easier to skin with the scales on, but it's the same thing. You angle your, your knife down and you go through a seesawing motion. That skin comes off. There's your filet. You take it and you run it right down the side of the pin bone. And then you, like a V, you run it up the other side. And there you have it, you cut it off. And there's your pin bone again. Those are the two pin bone sides. Now this fish is completely boneless. And now when you wanna fry this fish, you can section it in any way that you want. You can also um, use the skin, like I said, for the stock, even the bones, because you're gonna end up straining it. But the way that you section out and portion this skin for frying is you take this sharp, this big uh, sharp knife and you cut it at an angle so that you have a nice piece for frying there. And this is the second piece for frying. It's a little thinner. If you wanna make a sandwich, that's a beautiful portion piece. You do the same thing. Now, you know, when you scale your fish, you're gonna have a, an odd scale or two still on the fish. Don't be afraid to rinse it off with super ice cold water. And if you wanna throw a little bit of salt in the water, that's nice, because it'll, it'll firm the fish up a little bit. It'll take all the uh, excess scales off of it. And it'll, it'll give it a nice little salty flavor when you're gonna fry it. Still season your fish, but this is how you do it. Okay, guys? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna um, get this ready for frying. And if you guys wanna tune in to my, my next cooking video, we'll show you how to fry it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that's made uh, filleting a red snapper easy for you. Bye now.